What's up, YouTube? It's Lego King 71. Many of you saw in the title of the video that this is the first in a series of castle mock build videos that I'm going to be doing on my channel. As I mentioned in my Lego King 71 returns video, I plan on doing these updates weekly, showcasing the build progress of the castle. In this week's update, I'm starting by building the rock work below the castle. But before I can start on the rock work, I needed to decide on a layout and the total size of the mock. When I started this mock, I used four base plates arranged in a square. Each one of these base plates were 32 by 32 studs, making the total dimensions of the four base plates 64 by 64 studs. You'll see in future videos that the mock will grow twice in size as I expand the castle. My initial idea was to build a castle on top of a rock island, and I wanted there to be ships in the ocean surrounding the island. So of course if there's ships in the mock then there would also have to be a dock and I wanted the dock then to lead into a cave that had an elevator to take minifigures and their cargo up into the castle. I wasn't sure what I was going to do past this point but this was enough for me to get started building. To begin I'm using dark gray slope bricks to create the rock work in a circular layout on the base plates. As you're watching me build in this time lapse you may notice some differences in the coloration between some of the bricks that I'm using. This is because I was using a combination of my childhood accumulation of bricks, which used an older Lego plastic formula, combined with a brand new pick-a-brick order with about $120 worth of Lego bricks, using a different, newer dark gray plastic formula. Overall, I actually don't mind the mismatching shades of gray, and I think it adds a cool looking texture to the rock work. As far as my actual building technique, I used a mixture of high angle slopes, inverted slopes, and snot bricks to attach low angle slopes to, making the studs face horizontally. Snot, for anyone who hasn't heard this term before, is an acronym that stands for studs not on top. I'll be using this term a lot in my future videos. Unfortunately though, this building technique, combined with the large irregular size of the rock work, resulted in an extremely delicate rock wall. For now, I just had to build extremely carefully, but I found my adult hands were extremely difficult to fit between the bricks without knocking over or breaking all the progress that I had made over the past hour. Here's some footage played at normal speed showing how slowly and delicately I'm having to put the pieces together. I knew this problem would be fixed later when I connected the mountain into the castle wall in a future video, so I wasn't worried about the fragility of the wall in the long term. Next, I began to build the cave walls leading from the dock to the elevator. Here, I used the structurally sound building method of a two stud deep wall because I knew this was going to be the main structure supporting the castle. But, this was looking a bit boring, so I decided to add some torches lining the cave walls. Here's the design I came up with for the torches. The torches consisted of a dark gray 1x1 one one brick modified with studs on four sides, two 1x2 one cheese slopes, one 2x1 two flat tile, a black torch piece, a snot brick then to connect the torch to the cave wall, and then one headlight brick. The headlight brick is important because it has a square hole in the back of it, and this will allow me to easily add flickering LED lights to the torches in a later video. Here I'm putting together all six of the torches I needed to line the cave. And lastly, you can see here I'm adding the torches to the cave walls. That's about it for this week's build progress video. In next week's update, I will be adding LED lights to the torches as well as designing the elevator and elevator shaft. So thanks guys for watching. Drop a like if you enjoyed the video, leave a comment, and if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button and stay tuned for a new video next week. See ya!